Thanks for joining us on day five of the Vuelta. With 170 undulating kilometers between Eliana and the mountaintop finish at the Javalambre Observatory, it wasn't a day for the sprinters. In fact, even the men most comfortable in the mountains were sure to feel the 11-kilometer climb to the finish, especially with the closing few kilometers off-road and at a punishing 10% gradient, reminiscent of the stage of the La Planche des Belles Filles on this year's Tour de France. There was time for the leaders to enjoy the start of the stage before three riders battled their way clear of the peloton. Among them, Angel Madrasso, who's already clocked over 300 kilometers at the head of the field. With teammate Yetzebol and Cafidas rider Jose Herrera, the three put a 10-minute cushion between themselves and the peloton. That made life uncomfortable enough for race leader Nicholas Roach and Sunweb team leader Wilco Kelderman to take up the chase. Madrasa, though, showed no signs of flinching as he racked up more points to strengthen his grip on the King of the Mountains jersey. He'd already collected eight precious points as, with still 70 kilometers left, he and his fellow escapees still had a double-digit advantage. Behind them, the peloton were falling over themselves in pursuit. More problems for Rigoberto Uran as he was caught up in a crash again. That left the leaders nine minutes clear as they embarked on the last climb. That lead, though, was slashed less than six minutes with just over six kilometers to go. Madrasa looked to have gone as Bol and Gerada stormed off to the summit. The pace of the peloton was too much for Red Jersey Roach as he dropped back too. Alejandro Valverde and the Jumbo Visma team pushed the chasing pack on while Madrasa again was dropped at the front. Back down the scarily steep road, Miguel Angel Lopez attacked the peloton quickly pursued by Valverde and Primoz Roglic. After looking like his chances had gone, Madrasso was incredibly back in contention and even had enough in the tank to burst clear over the last 400 meters to take a superb win. Victory then for Madrasso, Ball and Harada completing the podium, Lopez in fourth, 12 seconds clear of Valverde and Roglic. Winning a stage on a race like the Vuelta is something important in a rider's career. For me, it's a dream come true. So once again, Angel Madrasso stole the show. He's out of the running for the overall race win, but the Burgos ride has been in the thick of the action virtually every day, spending over 400 kilometers out in front and deservedly wears the King of the Mountains jersey. The stage win was the third of his career, his first though on a major tour. Lopez's late attack was enough to take him back into the red jersey he wore after stage one. Roglic and Nairo Quintana just behind Uran, his sixth less than a minute back. Sam Bennett stays in the green jersey while Madrasso scooped up all the mountain points on the day and is now 27 clear of Valverde. Lopez also the race's top young rider and a real statement of intent on the first mountain stage. The question now is, can he do it again?